first thing I put in my pan are mushrooms. I'm using baby portobello mushrooms. And you can use what I, sometimes I use white mushrooms, but you can use whatever you like. But I'm using some baby portobello. You see him just putting them in there. It takes a little longer for them to get done. So I'll start with my baby portobello mushrooms. Okay. You can use as many as you like. I'm putting this many in. Okay. What I also am putting in this, because I love it, are bell peppers. I've chopped up um, some yellow and red bell peppers. So I'm going to put that in my mix. And we're just going to start this to sizzle just a little bit over here. I hope you all had a great semester and you're getting those good grades in there because you are all very brilliant and talented people. Yesterday I did absolutely nothing which was crazy. But today I tried to get up and run down or rather walk down to the French Quarter where I walked for about three and a half miles. I went to Jackson Square, drank a Gatorade, saw some interesting people. But my favorite thing was this little old lady who comes down to Bourbon Street on her bike and she dances. And I thought she had gotten COVID and I'm glad to report she is healthy. She is back out there so it feels like Bourbon Street is opening back up. There were a handful of people who were in their cars driving by as she was singing um, not the Beyonce version, but the um, Isley Brothers version. And she, was, and she was just having a grand time. And that made me feel like, okay, we're all going to be okay. And then I went to his brothers and I got an ooey gooey little square on the cake. Those things are about $3 and they really all to be about 50 cents. But let me tell you, it was worth the three dollars. So next, what I'm going to do. So I've got this pitch perfect um, supreme salad seasoning. Now I don't know whether it's going to be good or not. We're going to throw some of that in there. And it, when I saw it in the store, it reminded me of my sister Rhonda. Now, Rhonda passed away last summer, the end of June, and. Now, some of my family, like my sister Cleavy, who we call sister, um, is an expert cook. Rhonda was not. But the thing that Rhonda could do better than most was make a salad. And those salads had all sorts of stuff in it. And, and it was always delicious. And it was always filling. And you felt like you had a full meal just from having one of Rhonda's salads. So, in celebration and honor of Rhonda, I bought that salad supreme. Um, salt. Like I said, it might be nasty, but who knows? It might be really good. Now while I am sauteing my vegetables, I'm now going to put my ravioli. So I buy it, I don't make it, maybe I should figure that part out, but I buy this brand called Rana. It's got a great friend named Rana, he's Indian, but this man may be a Thai, his name is Giovanni Rana. And they're mushroom and ravioli. So I'm just going to put them in some boiling water right now while my dish begins to simmer. And it smells like it's going to be good. But I already knew that. So while we're talking about this, I'm also trying to understand how it is that even though I walk about seven miles on Saturdays and Sundays, I have not lost that COVID-19. In fact, I have probably found COVID-19 in a handful of others. And that makes me concerned. So I'm considering buying one of those things you see on TV with the people in the mirror and they're walking and they're talking to you. I think that might be interesting, but I don't know yet. What I'm also going to do right now with this, put a little mint garlic in here. 
Again, I go to Walmart, balling on a budget. Great value works for me, but you can get the fancy kind if you want. So I'm just gonna put about that much. Drop that in there because it smells delicious. And it's gonna make my garlic mashed potatoes be phenomenal. All right. So next I'm going to add to my vegetable dish some spinach. I use baby spinach. Spinach is my favorite um, vegetable. One of the only lettuces, family things that I like to eat. So when I go to Subway, I'll get a spinach as opposed to lettuce. So I'm going to pull this over so you can see what it looks like. So you see how that spinach is up there now? It's going to cook down really good in a second. We're going to put that there. And I dropped a piece of spinach and guess who got it? Juanica. You know, I was thinking about all the single mothers who have to do double duty and I understood what that feels like. You know, making sure that Quanika has somewhere to sleep and eat and that she I clean up after her. She doesn't say thank you. So that also gave me a deeper appreciation for mothers on Mother's Day because I understand how difficult it must be with actual people that then start talking and start talking back and you want to punch them. But you can't do it because they'll call the, the scan on you and then you end up in jail. Just laughing a little slick mouth kid. But I, I understand moms out there why you would want to do that. Because sometimes I get frustrated. But I don't let it give me. The enemy will not give me, not today, Satan. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like once that those. See here, see what that looks like. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's going to become even better when I throw this mozzarella in there. So I'm going to put this on the back burner. And I'm going to move my good old ravioli over here to the front burner so I can get a little more heat. Let's see how my potatoes are doing. Are they getting ready to be smashed? Well, they probably. So I chopped them up real good so that they wouldn't take me that long. It wouldn't have taken that long. Now, for those people who don't believe that I'm in here cooking and slaving over this kitchen, and it's hot, and so you will begin to see me sweat, because I already feel it rolling down my head. But, but see that powder, see that's, that's real cooking. I'm gonna look in at my biscuits. Mm, they're not bad. They smell good. So right now, I'm going to move away from the camera and I'm going to drain my potatoes. Now I've drained my potatoes. Let me put the camera down so you can see it a little better. And now what I'm going to do, I already put some garlic in there, but you can never have in my mind too much garlic. I'm gonna put a little more of the minced garlic. Put that in there. There we go. Now, what I'm also going to do is put some of my coconut oil, non-dairy butter flavor, vegetarian butter. And so we're gonna put a couple of spoons of that in there. And then just a dash. So that's a technical term of my soy milk. Oop, that's a dash. Put a little extra. Boom, there we go. You know, in New Orleans, we call it extra lanyard. That's a little lanyard for you. Talked to some Creole today, now you feel special. I think this part of my milk is basically done. So let me show you my garlic mashed potatoes. Mm -mm. Smell delicious. So next I'm going to turn my heat on just a little bit over here. Put my vegetable melody back over here. Now here's the secret. What I like about it is that the ravioli 
will get a little brown on the bottom. And that's when you know it's good. Because you got to get almost like a pan fried here. It's going to be delicious. So good. I would like to take a moment to have a moment of silence for the great little Richard and Betty, right? No pain, no gain. Oh my goodness. See, all the greats are leaving us. Too soon, Jesus. Too soon. And here is the coup de top. The mozzarella on top. Just sprinkle that on there. Make it all cheesy and delicious. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Get you a good look at that. And while that is simmering, I top it off with just a handful of cherry tomatoes. A little, little Mediterranean tonight. Just a little bit, and they'll get to sizzle in a second too. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be good, y'all. Real good. Let's see what that looks like. I wish you could smell it. Jesus. I'm going to turn this off while my biscuits continue to cook. So the biscuits are out of the oven and they are, they look delicious. I haven't tasted them yet, but they look delicious. Show you my plate before I taste it. So you see here the pasta with mushrooms and uh, bell peppers, spinach, um, and some cherry tomatoes, the garlic mashed potatoes, and these delicious runnels, super delicious as he calls them, garlic cheddar biscuits with some jalapeno. So let's test it. First. I'm gonna try my bread, cause you know, let's see here. Cooked all the way through, so you see that, that cheese is still a little stringy there. Mm-hmm. Actually, a little better, which you might get at the Red Lobster. Mm. Put me some mushroom spinach on my ravioli with mushroom in it. I want, it's gonna be hot, so I'm gonna have to try to be gentle. I got my little bell pepper, so I get all the taste in that one bite. Mmm, mmm-hmm. This gonna be, mmm. A little more of that, mmm, mmm-hmm. Delicious. Mmm. I'm gonna take reservations. Y'all come on over. Cash your food to the door. Cash at me. Let me test my potatoes. Homemade, of course. Mm -hmm. Garlicky, buttery with fake butter. Delicious. Now, I was gonna try to make a dessert, but I was in Walmart. And Walmart was crowded this last weekend. So I decided it's supposed to making something special, well, buy something special. Now, the one thing that I love more than Patty LaBelle's superhero pie, Patty LaBelle's peach cobbler. And I wish all of the mothers out there a very, very, very happy Mother's Day to all the seniors. We hate that we couldn't be with you yesterday for graduation, but we will be with you on the 23rd for our virtual commencement. Have a good rest of the night and take good care of yourselves and each other.